All right, guys, let's talk about exporting tracks. All right, so we're going to talk about exporting tracks today. Uh, some people call them making track outs. So if you've heard that, that's very similar. This is, just so you guys know, it is different than printing stems. I have a video about stems, so I'll put a card for that up on the screen. Basically, the big difference is stems tends to be more towards the end of the process, and it's more for people to do things like make remixes with them, stuff like that. What you're doing is you're exporting a whole group of tracks as one thing. So you might have all your drum tracks being exported as one stereo drum file, for example. Whereas with this, we're trying to get every individual track exported and it's often for something like a collaboration. Um, I'm gonna show you guys an example here where I'm sending some vocal tracking that we did to a producer. So just keep in mind that those are two different things, the stem tracks versus exporting tracks, track outs. All right, so the session that I'm using today is by an artist named Gabe Cubanda. I'm gonna put a link to all his socials in the description below, so check that out, please. He's at Gabe Cubanda on all his social media. So basically the idea here is that we did some backing vocal tracking yesterday, and I have to now export these tracks to send to his producer for them to work on them. So what they sent to me for the session is the two track of the beat, right? So just the beat and then the main vocals. So these two files here were sent to me for this session. And then this is what we were recorded yesterday. So it's all the backing vocals, different harmonies, and then different ad libs here at the bottom. And let's see, I have some stuff. I did like some preliminary mixing, but you know, we're gonna ignore that. So what I've done so far to prepare for this uh, export is I've made all these tracks inactive that we don't want. So everything except what we tracked yesterday is now inactive and that's just, me being extra, you don't really need to do that, but you'll notice that these tracks are all inactive and then also my reverb tracks and stuff like that. They're all made inactive. Oop, I'm bumping stuff over, I'm knocking stuff. So you don't have to do that, but I did that just to be extra careful. The other thing that I've done so far is I've gone file and then save as, and I've saved a new session. So it's a track export session here. So I do that because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna consolidate these clips so that they all start at the same point so they can then import them and have them line up easily in their DAW. I'm doing this because they don't work in Pro Tools, right? So if someone works in Pro Tools, it's much easier to send them the whole session, uh, especially if you don't have any plugins on the session, right? So just keep that in mind. This is because they work in a different DAW. So I've saved this track export uh, session here, and then I made these tracks uh, inactive. So if we wanted to continue tracking, I could go and open this session up and I would have the regular session right here without anything inactive. So I'd be ready to go really quickly. I could just open this up to continue tracking. And I'll show you this one in a minute. I've already gone through this process once. I'm gonna do it again here for you guys. So the other thing that I did in preparation here, as you might notice, we have playlists with different takes. So during our session, we actually comped these takes. So each of these tracks has the comp take as the main playlist, and I'm sending them that main playlist. So just keep that in mind. We comped all the takes, but we do have uh, other takes. If they want to hear those at any point, I can send them over to them. But I'm just sending them the comp playlist for now. And then the other thing that I did is with the ad libs, we did not comp the ad libs yet. And a lot of times people like to copy and paste and move around ad libs. So what I actually did is I made duplicates of the ad libs tracks. So that's what these purple tracks are. And so for each playlist, I made a duplicate. So you'll notice here, if I go look at playlists, I have one other playlist here. So that's why I have one duplicate here. And that is featuring this second playlist. So each playlist has its own track so that it will survive and get sent out through the export. All right, so this is the session, it's ready for export. The only other thing that I would do here is go to my mix window and bring all these faders to zero so that I'm sending them to the producer with no change in gain, right? I'm not bringing down the gain, I'm not bringing up the gain, it's just as it was recorded. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do option shift to do all of these tracks that I have highlighted at once. You'll notice that I have all the nameplates for the, the vocal tracking tracks uh, highlighted. So I'm going to do option shift and I'm going to click and that brings them all to zero. That and then making sure all my uh, plugins are inactive is the only other thing that I would do to prep this session. And uh, to make all your plugins inactive really quickly, you can just do shift A while highlighting the uh, the tracks. So I'm just doing shift A there. All right. So the first step here is to highlight from some point after your song ends, your track ends, and you want to highlight on all of the tracks that you want to export. So I'm going to start at this first vocal uh, tracking track, and then I'm going to highlight. I'm dragging all the way to the beginning, and then I'm dragging down 
to cover all of these vocal tracks. So I now have a highlight from the very beginning of the session. That's really important. You want the same starting point as the beat. So if the beat starts at the beginning of the session, that's what you want. And I have a highlight from way after I need it, right? All the way to the beginning. All right, so now I have these all highlighted. I'm gonna consolidate my clips so they all start at the same exact point in time so that on the other end, they can line them up super easy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do Shift Option 3 and that will consolidate the clips. So this runs for a little while and it consolidates the clips. I've already done this before, so I'm gonna actually hit cancel and shift into that session where it's already been consolidated so you can see it. And just so you know, you can also go edit and then consolidate clip if you forget the shortcut. Okay, so this is what it looks like once it's all consolidated. As you can see, they all start and end at the same point because I did that one solid highlight. It's gonna consolidate whatever the duration of your highlight is. So now when I export these and send them to the producer, they're gonna really easily all line up. They just all give them the same starting point. It's the same as the beat starting point and it's good to go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight all these tracks and I'm just doing this to be careful. The point is you wanna highlight all the track nameplates over here but I have my edit and my track selection linked. So I'm just highlighting the different clips and it's gonna then highlight those tracks for me. But you highlight the tracks that you wanna export. So I have all my vocal tracks here and now they're ready to be exported. So what you're gonna do is Command Shift K to bring that export dialog up. And you're just gonna pick whatever options you want. These are mono tracks. So I'm gonna want to pick mono here. I don't need stereo tracks at all for these. So I'm picking mono, I'm picking a WAV file. WAV or AFF are ideal, right? Cause they're the high quality options here, but they're pretty interchangeable. There's not a huge difference anymore between these two. Um, and then you just wanna pick whatever format the person wants. So they want 32 bit float and 44.1 kilohertz, I believe. So that's what I'm gonna do here. And then the only other thing that I do is the default is to send it to the audio files folder. But what I like to do is I like to create a new folder here for the track out so they're nicely labeled and organized. So I create a folder and then I choose that as the option here. So I'm just going to do another one here. Backing, vocals, track outs, two. And then I'm going to choose that option. There's backing vocals. I like to double check. I'll drag this out so I can see. Yeah, so track outs two. And then what I like to do is resolve duplicate file names by prompting for each duplicate. That's usually not an issue because uh, Pro Tools won't let you uh, have the same exact track name. So I haven't run into this as an issue very much. So I like to have it just prompt me if it pops up. And then other than that, I hit export and it creates those files. And that's about it. Then what I tend to do is I will go to WeTransfer or FileMail.com, you know, one of those easy transfer sites. Some people I have a Google Drive shared folder with. And then what I'll do is I will just upload that whole folder with all the tracks for them. And I'll see what they say if they have any questions or if they want any of the playlists sent as well. You know, the alternate takes, I'll send that. And I think that's about it. So I hope this helps someone out there. I hope you guys like this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I would really appreciate all of that stuff. And I do have a Patreon. So it's patreon.com slash Kato Noise. We have a Discord we're all hanging out on some additional content. I've really been focusing on the Discord and the book club that we have within the Discord. So please feel free to check that out if you feel so inclined. And don't forget to check out Gabe's music in the description below. I'll have links. And other than that, I come out with videos every Wednesday. And thank you so much for hanging out. Okay. All right. So um, this is still finishing. I am going up to LA and back tonight. This weekend is Nam, So I'm going up to LA and back. And then I'm coming home tomorrow. And then I'm going back up to LA for Nam for the weekend. So... I'm in like crazy rush mode right now. Everything's crazy. So I'm just gonna sign off and see if I can get this video edited really quickly. So you guys on Patreon get your early release. And I hope that's okay. I hope you guys are all doing well. If you're at Nam, let me know. Oh, this might come out a little too late for that. But I um, hope you guys are doing well. Okay, I'm a crazy person. I'm in a rush. Everything's chaos. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.